Hey guys, I've mentioned to a few people that I would do a little video just showing you one little trick when you're tying the AFW. A few people have mentioned that it kinks when they tie it. So um, basically this is how I do it. I don't usually use a swivel on the end that I'll connect to my leader. I'll just tie a, a simple perfection loop like that. I normally uh, have these tools because it's got a nice rounded nice rounded end there so that's that keeps the, the loop keeps the loop nice and straight without it kinking so I can pull that knot tight then I'll just basically measure measure my trace the length I want I'll, uh, I'll cut it off roughly roughly the length I want this is the 26 pound uh, AFW I'm using just um, get one of these fast stack snaps out this is the number three which I normally use for my sort of bigger pike stuff. So the key is, this is the secret, so not get it kinked. Put your trace through, get about, double it over. Never pull it tight on that. Always put your finger through if you're gonna pull it, pull it tight. And then what I'll do is just a three turn union knot. So I'll bring the tag end back, which will go round about to the middle, to the middle of the, uh, the trace there. And I'll go one, two, three basically three turns just and what I do then and this is where you need to be careful is put your fingers through the, the trace there and I'll basically pull it tight I'll pull on the tag end with my teeth you can use a tool um, try not to damage your teeth and then never never actually pull on the, the snap itself because you don't want that trace bending around that snap that's that's where it'll kink so what I do is I, I wet it, a little bit of saliva or water, and I'll just feed it down into place like that. That knot, it's not 100% cinched, but it's quite tight, not too tight that it won't slide. And I'll just move it into place. I'll pull on the other, pull on the other end there with my other hand, move it in, pull it down as much as I can, give a little pull on the tag end until it's almost cinched. And then I will, cinch it cinch it properly I'll put those on that end pull it pull it nice and tight you can use a use a tool if you want just to get that that not nice and tight because I want to cut that tag end really really close so, but before I cut it I want to make sure that knot is cinched because you don't want that tag end pulling through and just cut off your tag end And away you go, you've got a nice straight, nice straight trace there. And you just connect that loop up to your uh, fluorocarbon or whatever it is you're using. There you go, as simple as that.